I got so tired of people making deep pics of me that I decided I'd just do it myself. So I'm here to talk to you about SusuBot, my AI counterpart with text and voice chat, image generation, and phone call capabilities. In this video, I'll be sharing my reasons for the creation of SusuBot, as well as addressing some complaints and criticisms that I've gotten about my decision. Okay, play the Joe Rogan clip, editors. So here's a story that happened yesterday. Um, <laughs> there's a, a popular Twitch streamer, I'm not really sure who she is, but she has created a, a bot that lets fans interact with her that and, and mostly is to combat deep fakes. But we've talked about this before. There's a bunch of AI deep fake porn right. on OnlyFans and whatnot. So she's just like, you know what? Yeah, it has to I'm be. I'm going to be in control of this. Let me say it has to huh. be consensual. I don't think it's okay if you do that and it's not against, not with someone's consent. So she's making money off of It's the, not okay, but it's inevitable. That's the ad for it. This is the ad for it. Susu Bot. Realistic voice, quality photos, no stolen images. Oh, okay. So she's launching something with her body. Right. Interesting. Okay. I would well, love an AI. Good move for her. So have you ever had someone create fake images of you doing something you normally wouldn't do? Okay. So if you have, you understand that it sucks. And if you haven't, picture this. You're at a family gathering, having to explain to your sobbing grandmother that the photos of you eating babies on Epstein's Island aren't real. And she's old, she doesn't get it. So this has been happening to me for years. Okay, not necessarily infant cannibalism specifically, but the whole people creating compromising fake images ordeal. To get you up to speed on deep fakes, here's like a brief rundown of basically why this has all happened. So last year, several female streamers spoke out against the like negative impact non-consensual edits of them have had in their careers and their mental health after the topic was basically forced out into the open by another streamer accidentally exposing that they were subscribed to a deepfake site during one of their streams. Um, Sweet Anita and Cutie Cinderella have their own videos talking about this. I'm very sympathetic to the victims, especially as someone who's been on the receiving end of it for years. Um, even before people had easy access to AI to make deepfakes, people were like manually editing photos of me. And not only that, but for years also, people have been pretending to be me online to trick people into e-dating them so they can try and scam them for money or personal information they can sell online. So yeah, it's been really annoying. We need laws and actual regulation to protect people. However, things are only getting worse. We have no government action and the individuals doing this are, they're not stopping. So I decided to take things into my own hands. <laughs> I met with a company specializing in AI and CGI technology to not only create my own consensual and ethical Susu deepfakes, but to create like a safe fake version of me so people could also chat. Um, since doing this, the amount of people trying to catfish and roleplay as me on Reddit and Twitter has actually decreased. There's still like a few people desperately clinging on to creating fake accounts of me and stuff on Reddit, but they'll eventually be executed. So now people can subscribe to the bot and live out their AI fantasies without anyone being exploited and with a clear distinction between reality and AI as the bot doesn't try to like blur the lines like the imposters do. And speaking of cool things you should subscribe to, let me tell you about today's sponsor. No wait, don't skip this. Our sponsors are a big help to the channel. So hear me out. So when I get ready to go out, there's three things I always like to have with me. A knife, some cyanide, and of course, a nice perfume. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $17. You don't have to invest a lot of money on designer fragrances if you try Scentbird. Scentbird offers affordable and flexible subscription plans. You can also skip or cancel your subscription at any time, making it hassle-free. So every month, you get to pick out what you want to receive so there are no surprises. They have over 700 perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. They carry brands such as Gucci, Prada, and Versace, as well as indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of Rebel. You can be sure that you're getting a premium scent each month. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full-size bottle. This month, I received Ode Hayak, Red Dakota, and Ocean Odyssey. I like these because they have subtle and earthy scents that aren't overpowering. Join Scentbird with my code SUSU55 to get 
55% off your first month. That's just a little over $7 for your first month. Available in the USA and Canada. So we can all agree the main problem with deepfakes is the lack of consent on behalf of those the images are being made of and the lack of distinction on if an image is real or AI. So Susuba is different because we trained it with my images, with my consent, using also open source content and all the nudity is generated off its own CGI database, not random, non-consensual images of other people. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yes, there is nudity. And uh, CGI is basically just the computer generated images like what you see in 3D video games and stuff. It's not a mashup of stolen photos. The quality of these images are really good in my opinion, especially compared to the other fakes out there people were making. I briefly mentioned this on one of my collab videos with MXR, but the other fakes of me I was seeing were so ugly. I was just like, I can easily do better. The images by my bot are not only consensual and ethical, but they are just so much better looking than a vast majority of the other stuff people are making. Sometimes you might get like a, something a little cursed, like a extra leg or an arm, but that's kind of hot in its own way. And the bot is constantly being worked on by our team to perform at a higher and higher level. Susuba also has voice features and is capable of actual phone conversations with the user as well as the text chatting. So like you can't make Susubot call your grandma and pretend to be your girlfriend so she stops asking you when you're going to get married, but maybe we can work on that. Still like the conversations, the role playing, all that super detail, really good, better than me, I think. So I need to, I need to get on that bot's level. But like I said, the audio was trained on my voice. It's frequently being tweaked and improved to sound better and more realistic. So with all these intuitive chatting features and the amazing image quality, one big criticism that I've gotten often about Susubot is that it will make people parasocial. So people who say this don't seem to realize that I've already been dealing with that for years as a result of people pretending to be me online. So these imposters, they don't state that they aren't me. And then I end up having to deal with people coming to my social media all upset that they were scammed. Some of them even insist that it was actually me talking to them even after I tell them that they've been tricked. All this because people are just being dishonest with my identity. And the bot clearly states that it's not a real person or the real me, and having that distinction is extremely important and very helpful. Uh, another thing that people believe is that I'm arming the scammers with the tools to scam more people, but Susubot is not the only AI version of me. Um, in fact, people have made downloadable models of me prior to my bot being released. Same with my voice. People were already doing this to me yet again. Susubot, of course, is the undisputed champion of all AI versions of me. Um, and it can also be monitored and regulated by me and my team to keep everyone safe. Oh, and here's my personal favorite complaint. People saying it takes advantage of lonely men. Um, the product is for adults only and grown men have this thing called free will and agency. So them being lonely or horny doesn't make them incapable of deciding for themselves what they want to do with their time or their money. So the bot doesn't force anyone to subscribe or trick people into giving money under false pretenses like my imposters do. It is very cut and dry. And this accusation is so dusty and tired because regardless of what creators do for content, people will make the same accusation that we're taking advantage of lonely guys or lonely men, whatever. Like whether someone is on OnlyFans making content for adults or making safe for work content, they get the same accusation. Like if somebody has any amount of viewership online, people will say they're taking advantage of lonely folks out there. No matter what boundaries are put into place between the creator, no matter what boundaries are put into place between the creator and their audience. Ooh, ooh, I have another favorite. I have another favorite. This one, this one's pretty, pretty up there on what people always say. The, what if a crazy person thinks the bot is real? What if a crazy person sees you walking down the street and eats your face off? That's happened. Look up bath salts zombie. Uh, what if a crazy person thinks murdering you will make you part of their harem in the afterlife? That's also happened. Look up the BTK murder. So we can't live our lives never doing anything because what if a crazy person blah blah blah. We all take precautions to protect ourselves so we can live our lives to the fullest. So someone crazy will do crazy things regardless. That's why they're considered crazy. 
Simply being alive puts us at risk of a crazy person. So will you fight or will you perish like a dog? In conclusion, AI used maliciously sucks orangutan taint. I wish we didn't have to deal with that. I wish we only had the good aspects of AI, like more pictures of fat dudes kicking crocodiles and none of the bad stuff, um, but we live in a shitty world. Susuba is my attempt at having a little, little bit of control and regulation over how my own image is being used in a world constantly teetering on the edge of societal collapse at the hands of our ever-growing robot overlords. So thanks for watching, stay safe, and don't forget to check out our sponsor Scentbird with my code SUSU for 55% off your first month. Scentbird, Scentbird, Scentbird is the word. Subscribe it.